Hello guys, welcome back to Creative Edge, where our family is full of art, and for me it is wood model ships. Today we are going to be working on the bowsprit for the Montaigne's. The Santisma is done, and so we are back to working on the Montaigne's, and these are our instructions for the Bowsprit first section, bowsprit second section, and then we have our yards, our masts, more masts, more yards to make. Now I want you to remember this is on a one-to-one -one scale, so this is exactly the size of the main yard for the foremast. Okay, that's for the foremast. The main mast yard, I would be surprised if it could fit on one sheet of paper. So this is for the main yard, for the main mast, and like I said, I have to undo the paper so it will I can see the full schematic, because that is really long. Let's see if we can determine exactly how long in inches this is going to be yeah so you can see from here to here is 18 inches and we still have about two inches to go so this main yard for the main mast is 20 inches long that's going to be big and of course i'll have to undo this packet so that I can get to the full uh, schematic of that. This is the second yard for the main mast. The second yard for the main mast in inches is going to be 19 inches. Which means the ship will be 20 inches wide. We have the third tier of the rear mast, the mes mast. We have pictures of the sails so we can match up the sails and know where the sails are going to go. And this is, looks like the main sail for the main mast. Um, Although that might not be the case because it should be the width of the main yard, which is 20 inches. So, we will see. Some basic rigging. Of what it, we have some basic rigging there that we will be looking at eventually. Some more... Pictures of rigging here, placement of the sails, lines, etc. Then, of course, we have the ship itself, which this is all done. We don't need that right now anyways. Um, the only picture I need on here, it kind of gives you an idea here about where the three masts go. We have the four mast. Well, let's start at the front. The bow, we have the bow sprit here, the four mast, the mist mast, or the main mast, and then we have the mist mast, the three lights that go into the back. And then of course I'll be doing some roping between the bow sprit and the bow stem here with the figurine on it. So that's fun info. So this is the first section of the bow sprit here. So I need to make this piece here. Then I have the second section of the bowsprit here. 
You notice there's a little pulley in there, gold pulley that I will be inserting and carving out room for. And then we'll have this piece here, which will connect these two pieces together, which you see in the diagram here as well. And you can see how it passes through. Um, <clears throat> one thing we need to notice in this little uh, example here of the schematic uh, close-up view, we will notice that this main the first part, the main bigger part of the bowsprit does not go inside of uh, this piece here. It is actually just glued on. So that's a good thing to notice because we're never going to fit it in that hole. And if I were to drill this hole bigger um, to 10 millimeters, that would be about this big and we would lose a lot of strength here and being African walnut I can tell you right now that's going to be pretty much impossible to do without destroying this piece now let's take our let's get our pieces together we have the main piece here we have our second piece here. Now I have already cut these to length and as you can see I have already cut the angle there. We have a bit of sapley here which will be for this piece here or this piece here. So I will be cutting this piece and carving it and drilling two holes in it and that will be for that. Um, I am missing a piece. Now what did I do with that? It's kind of annoying. Uh, just make sure it's not in this booklet. I just had it. What on earth did I do with it? Okay, hold on guys. I'm going to pause the video for a minute while I look for, oh no, I can't, um, what I did with that piece. I'm looking for a square piece that looks like this if you guys want to help me look for it. It's a piece of African walnut in a square shape with two holes. Okay, still looking for that piece. Uh, I don't understand. Where it went. I just had it. I don't need this, so we'll set this aside. Set this aside too. Uh, obviously not in here. Um, okay. This is very strange. There's not many places it could have gone. Um, and I did just have it a second ago. Can't continue my work without it.
Lord. Well, I had it right here, I thought. And then I took all these pieces and I put them over here. We're going to have to stop the video because I can't do it without that piece.